it's week 17. Whew. We were blessed enough to get some views from Mount Killington this morning. Our first 4,000 footer since Virginia. Um, but we're having shorter day today. We're just doing 9.5 into a state park where I think we'll be staying for the night. It's been raining on and off all morning. So fingers crossed that it will, we'll get some sunnier days in soon. No pain, no rain, no main. Um, we got to get a good, good start to the day. <laughs> Who's that guy walking around without a backpack? Who is he? <laughs> Run this. Okay, start running. So yesterday, right as we got to the state park where we were meeting Trail Angel Extraordinaire Amy, it started raining and hailing. We had thought about staying here at the park, but since we were all soaked and shivering, opted to go stay at the inn, the Long Trail Inn. So nice, um, super happy we decided to do that, even though we hadn't really been planning on it because it just allowed us to get dry, get warm, get well rested, and now we're ready to tackle our 19 mile slack pack today. Naturally, as soon as we were dropped off, it started raining again. Out. We're ending our what 19 mile slack pack today. Amy has been trail angel extraordinaire, amazing Amy, <laughs> greeting us with our stuff and a couple couple brews, some snacks. Look, she's got everything loaded in her car. Thank you so much, Amy. We appreciate all the help that you've given us these past couple of days. She's the best, man. We just walked through the most beautiful field of lupine. I've never seen lupine before. They don't have that back in the south. Sometimes the small streams are the most challenging to get across. All right, one after the other, all right? Oh! Nice. Yeah, Pace is gonna cross where I did. It's just, it's better for shorter legs. <laughs> Deceiver has long legs, so this was fine for him. Careful, they're slippery. Very slippery. Very. Oh, it is slippery. Yes. Get off of it. Ooh. There's that tree right up there too that you can grab onto. Right there. Right there. No, 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 no. Right there. That's not gonna let me do it. You want me to hold your poles? Yeah, I'll just put them right here. Okay. That tree helped me, I grabbed onto it. Just 
hiked up this hill, turned around and saw what a beautiful view we're leaving behind us. Thanks, Vermont. I love seeing these little things on trail because they, they remind me of little butts. So as I'm walking, I just see little butts everywhere. I would rate this privy as one of my top five. Just had a really enjoyable experience in it. I like the little architectural flair we've got here and the screen is perfect, brilliant. Gives you a view, lets in plenty of light while also keeping out the bugs. Great job. We came across all these maple trees and first we didn't quite know what this was, but we are in Vermont and we assume that those are just hoses everywhere on the trees here connected to gather the sap to make maple syrup. Don't really know how it works, but it's pretty impressive. Must be just running down a big hose to somebody's house <laughs> and then he makes maple syrup out of it. Yesterday when we woke up for the first time in over a week it was clear blue skies and sunshine and it was a little hot, got a little humid towards the end of the day, but let me tell you I felt alive. Deceiver did not share those feelings. I think he was a little beat down by the sun. But today, back to clouds, clouds and scattered rain. I think it's supposed to thunderstorm later this afternoon, but no problem because it's town day. See okay. if you can guess what town we'll be heading into this afternoon. Pretty big milestone. Uh, we're also finishing one of our far out maps. So we'll only have two far out maps left after today. How many are there total? Ooh, I don't know. Ten? Yeah, sounds right. So looking forward to getting into town. New Hampshire. That's crazy. We have two states left. We walked 1,700 miles for these free donuts. <laughs> Nothing to see here, just a couple of fellow Ivy League students walking around campus with our backpacks. It's us, stinky Ivy League students. We fit in. Where the going gets tough. Cows, maple trees, oh, a loon, a mo haven't seen a moose yet. Here's the bridge we crossed over. Aw, Laura. <laughs> this is so cool. A little hopscotch. Heck yeah, Maine. We're coming. Cool AT map here on the wall at the hostel. Each state and this is all what we've done already. West Virginia, Maryland, Pennsylvania, New Jersey, New York, Connecticut, Massachusetts, Vermont. We are here right before New Hampshire and Got all this crazy climbing to go to the end until we get to Katahdin. Okay, so came down right. for breakfast and we've got frizzle on the gr frizzle, frizzle on the griddle. <laughs> 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 
And steer on eggs. Mmm. Yum, yum. Team effort, man. Look at these. We are a team. Yeah. No, no. Everybody, everybody. So I met another gentleman. Wow. Steaming. Yeah. We just got dropped off from the hostel from a Hanover Adventure Tours. Who's excited to get back on trail? It's raining. Nothing about this. The state I look the most forward to. That's right. This is the most gorgeous weather. Suck it up. Yeah, I'm gonna suck it up. Good morning. It is 4 a.m. We are trying to outrun the weather today. We have about 18 miles planned. Want to get there by maybe 1 p.m. because New Hampshire has been nothing but rain. So we're hurrying now. <laughs> How beautiful all the lupine growing around this little lake is. I freaking love lupine. So we had a wonderful Nero into Hanover. Stayed at Hanover Adventure Tours Hostel. And I think it was probably one of our best stays in a hostel just with all the amenities they had. Uh, they had a big open dining area with lots of seating so we kind of all just hung out there. Fully stocked kitchen so we went to when we were in town we um, were able to buy food to make our own lunch and dinner which meant that we were really able to eat well not just eat a lot um, which is a mistake that's very easy to do on trail. Uh, so we ended up grilling steaks for dinner, which was so awesome. Um, got dropped off the next day, starting to rain. <laughs> we hiked 10, 10 miles to get to a shelter and it was really starting to come down. So we took a long break that ended up with us just staying there for the rest of the evening. Got up early this morning to get a move on, try and outrun the storm that's forecasted for this afternoon. But look, we're seeing a little sun. So hopefully this holds out and um, we're planning on getting in about 18 miles today and staying at the Hexacuba shelter. We've got Mount Musilak back there, the tallest peak you can see, and we'll be there in two days. Shortly after one, and we've made it to Hexacuba. Cool. First view of the day. That's where we came from, that big mountain back there. All right, we made it to the Granite State. I'm not even on trail anymore. <laughs> so yesterday, we woke up at 3.30, got in 18 miles by about quarter after one, and we did all of that so we could beat the storm that was forecasted on three different weather forecasting 
uh, websites. No storm. A little thunder. A smattering of rain. But just the AT showing us that you can't beat her. Can't win against her. Um, so we are finishing up today with uh, 14 point something. Um, we're actually staying at Hiker's Welcome Hostel tonight. Staying there for the next two nights, actually. Doing a little bit of slack packing in the next couple of days as we get into the white. Uh, so looking forward to that next week. And I think that wraps up week 17. It's been a little bit of a grind the past couple of days, but hopefully hasn't rained on us yet today. So maybe we've uh, moved past the, the stormy weather we've been having. Fingers crossed, just in time. <laughs> this is all this is a one person portion. So hungry. Yes. Yeah. Just walk in. Yeah. Legion. 